Hey everybody, happy new year, welcome back. We made it to 2020, that seemed like a long way away, but it's here. I'm still in Botswana for a few months and 2019 has been a great year as long as we avoided the topic of politics, which I'm going to continue to avoid on this channel. I was able to post 37 videos this year, which was not quite as many as I wanted to post, but it's still great. And the channel's audience tripled in size this year, which was really exciting and fun to watch. Just watch the audience grow, so thanks for joining me. So today, while I'm thinking about the new year, I wanna talk a little bit about the channel, the future directions, some changes that I'm going to be making. Don't worry, I'm still planning on making programming and other computing videos that I hope will help you as you try to learn this stuff. And I will try to post weekly as often as I can. But today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how this channel has changed for me. Because when I started this channel, I didn't really even think of it as a channel. I was just making a couple of videos for my classes. I was traveling, I couldn't be there to give them some content that they needed for a project, so I posted some videos. And they liked them, and they asked for more, and I posted more, and now there's almost 10,000 of you that have subscribed to the channel and who keep asking me for more videos. And I'm still having fun making and posting videos that I hope help you as you try to become a stronger programmer. Based on the comments that I receive from you, I think things are going well. Thank you for commenting, I love it when you reach out. I can see the numbers of how how many people watch these videos, but it's great to hear directly from you that it's having an impact and that you're appreciating the things that I'm posting. But as the channel has grown, I've noticed a few patterns emerging. In fact, I've noticed that your comments typically fall into three categories, and I want to talk about those today. The first category are comments that say, thanks, please make more videos, or could you please make a video on this particular topic? The second is, where's the source code? Can I please get access to the source code? And the third is, can you mentor me? Can you tutor me? Can you look at my code? Can you give me some feedback? Can you help me learn this particular topic one-on-one? -on -one? So these are the big three, let's talk about them. With number one, you're all welcome. I plan to keep making videos. I plan to hit as many of the topics that you've requested as I can. Occasionally there's a topic that I just don't really care about, I'm not that interested in, so I'm sorry, but I'll do the best I can. I've recently started posting some embedded systems videos, that's going to continue. In addition to embedded systems, in 2020, I'm planning to do more videos on data structures, algorithms, networks, low-level system calls, and yes, asynchronous IO and events. It's all coming. And while this channel is fun for me, it's also a lot of work, and I would love to see the day when this hobby actually pays for itself. So there are some things that you can do to help me make better videos and to make more of them. One big one, of course, is spreading the word, watching the videos, liking them, subscribing to the channel, telling your friends, telling your teachers, just basically spreading the word about the channel. I can tell this is already happening, and I really appreciate it. You can also contribute directly to the channel through Patreon. If you like what I'm doing, if you feel it's valuable, if you just think, wow, that's what a programming tutorial should really be like, then you can help financially support this channel. Some of you may not be familiar with Patreon. I'll put links and more information in the description of this video. You can contribute as little or as much as you want. And a big thank you to those who have already contributed and those that will contribute in the future. Your contributions pay for stuff like camera parts when stuff breaks, or just other things that help me make better videos. It also helps me justify this channel's existence. And if enough of you contribute, it will give me the opportunity to hire some help and get these videos recorded more quickly and edited more quickly so I can actually produce more content. So like I said, more information in the description. So what about number two? You want the source code. Now, the source code for my videos is really all there. I show all the source code for all the examples in the videos. You can just type them up and use them. So the source code is available for all my videos, but I know that it, typing in is a pain. Some of you just want to grab the source code and you don't want to type it in. So I've decided to share the source code from my videos to those who've helped financially support this channel as a way to say thank you. Specifically, anyone who contributes $10 or more per month, so that's like lunch or 10 pages of a textbook, can get access online to the source code for my videos. A lot of that code is already posted online right now. Of course, for my older videos, I wasn't always so organized, and so I'm still gathering up some of those examples. I will post them as I dig them up. But code for recent and my future videos will all be posted there, and some code will actually show up before the video comes out. So if that's interesting to you, that's an option. And there's more information about how this is going to work also in the description and on the Patreon page. So what about number three? Mentoring, tutoring. Back when this channel had 100 subscribers, I could do a little of this. Now that there are almost 10,000 of you, it's really not feasible to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one help. And that's really sad because I like sitting down with you. I like looking at your code. I like helping you see different ways that you could build this. And I learn stuff from the code that you provide. And of course, I've done code review videos and I plan to keep doing those, but those aren't very interactive. And for every one that I can do, there are about 500 of them that you submit that I can't. But I've been thinking about what I might do, and here's what I've decided to try. 
As another way to say thank you to those that financially contribute to this channel, I've decided to do one live virtual office hours session once a month. So once a month, possibly more as the channel grows and more people contribute, I will do a one hour live chat with channel supporters talking about your code, talking about algorithms, classes, whatever, really anything relevant to this channel that you wanna talk about. I'm planning to use Discord to facilitate the chat. And initially I'm planning to make this available to anyone that contributes $30 or more to the channel per month. So that's my current plan. This Patreon thing is new to me. It's an experiment. As things evolve, I may use Patreon for other things. I may share little code snippets. I may ask for particular advice or input from those that financially contribute to the channel. I may share quick tips that maybe don't warrant a whole video, but I just wanna share them. And we may also do things like programming contests. I'm not sure yet, it's a work in progress. Feel free to share your suggestions, but thank you all for watching and for your support. And I wish you all a wonderful and successful 2020.